Hello, welcome back to my channel. I am Christy Lukasiak, also known as Dance Mom Christy, Chloe's Mom, Christy from Dance Moms, all of the above, the woman who wears sequins. Um, yeah, all of those things. Well, hello, happy July 2021. Today's video has been 10 years in the making and I am so very excited to share with you that today is what, July 9th, I believe this video will go live. Okay, so Tuesday, that's July 13th, it will be the 10 year anniversary of Dance Moms premiering in the US. I believe it premiered in all of the millions of other places it premiered after, but we premiered July 13th, 2011 in the United States. So in honor of the big anniversary of Dance Moms, I thought it would be kind of fun, first of all, to wear sequins. So this is my... This is my homage or my nod or my tribute to all of the sequin shirts I wore on national television for years. And look, oh my God, I even have a little bit of a cold shoulder. So cold shoulder sequins. It's like I am channeling all of my inner dance mom Christiness. Um, yes, although I will say, I feel like this is a little bit more fabulous than anything I wore on TV, I'm just saying. Um, but yeah, so in honor of the 10 year anniversary of Dance Bombs, I thought it would be kind of fun to take a walk down memory lane and answer a question that I am asked over and over and over and over again. And that is, how did Dance Moms start? Get comfy, relax, because I am going to tell you the story from my perspective. I'm sure if other people told this story, it would be a little bit different, but I'm going to tell you from my perspective how Dance Moms came to be. It's like our birth story, if you will. Um, and if you are extra good, I have a few photos to share that I believe have never been seen before. So I'm gonna do I'm gonna do some digging. Um, I have a few up my sleeve that I know have never been shown anywhere before. So hopefully I will um, share those with you. And I have a little surprise at the end for you. So you have to make sure that you watch because you're gonna be like, oh, oh my god, um, yeah. So let's answer that question that I have been asked literally 25 billion times in my life. And that is, how did we get picked for Dance Moms? Um, but it gets a little bit more than just like, we got picked for Dance Moms because it wasn't like, you know, there was somebody out there going like, oh, dance is this thing and let's look for a studio. It was nothing like that. So let me go back and kind of tell you, the there's a big, really loud truck outside. Let me tell you kind of the story of how it all came to be. And um, John, if you happen to see this, if I get it wrong, just text me, I'm so sorry. Um, but yeah, so I'm gonna tell the story and then you can kind of see like how we all fell into place. But it really was kind of like, you know, fate. I mean, if that's the right word, it was fate. Everything kind of fell in exactly how it was supposed to be. Okay. So it all starts with a gentleman by the name of John and John grew up as a competitive dancer and he was amazing and he, you know, competed. He was Mr. Dance of America and he grew up in this dance world and he knew, uh, he knew the world from the inside and he lives in LA. He continued to teach young uh, he, I think he kind of specializes in teaching younger kids dance. Like he's amazing, he's great, he's got such a great personality and temperament. So he teaches little kids. And he knew, this is back in, I don't know exactly what year, but obviously before 2011, because that's when Dance Bomb premiered. But he knew that people were obsessed with toddlers and tiaras, and also, so you think you can dance. And he was like, you know, everybody's watching these adults dance. And he's like, but these little kids are out here with this amazing amount of talent that nobody really knows about. And, you know, people love toddlers and tiaras. So maybe there's a world where this exists. So I'm not quite sure how he was introduced to this person, but he was introduced to a casting agent and they went out and had drinks. And John pitched this idea of this world or the show revolving around younger kids competitive dance and so the casting director is like okay cool you know like let me look into it so he went back to his office or whatever and he put out a casting call across the United States looking for moms 
and dancers. I, I always say moms and daughters. I'm sure if there was a son that was great, then they would have looked at that. But at the time they were really looking for like moms and daughters because like toddlers was all little girls. It just kind of had that whatever to it. Again, 10 years ago, we weren't as woke, um, which PS, I would never get away with the garbage I said on dance moms now, just so we know. Um, okay, so he went out, put out a casting call and he started looking for moms and daughters across the country. And the original concept of the show, first of all, it started off being a few different things. Like they thought maybe a competition show for younger kids, which ultimately I think is kind of where, you know, the spinoff, the AUDC show kind of came from. But they weren't looking for a studio. What they were looking for were moms and daughters across the country because the original idea was to be more like toddlers and tiaras, where every week would be a different mom and daughter. So like say Chloe and I were cast on it, we would have been maybe week two and week one might have been like Kelly and Paige and week four might have been like Holly and Nia, you know, but it wouldn't have been all of us together. They were looking for different moms and daughters and I think the original like idea of it was that in nationals, all these people that you would watch through the season would come back and you would see them for a second time to compete against each other at nationals, right? Makes sense, you saw us twice. So we were really only like going to be on TV twice if you were cast on the show. So put out this casting call and people started answering it. You know, there was like a flyer hanging in the studio about it because John was friends with our dance teacher. I actually went to high school with someone that John dated. Um, but anyway, so you know, this, this information was out there. So we all kind of started sending in videos and it was funny because this is far before, um, any kind of cell phone videos and I had a flip video, like a flip phone. No, it wasn't even a flip phone. It was that flip camera. I got it for Christmas so I could videotape people. So I was like doing a million people's auditions at the studio because I had access to a camera that could plug in, the USB could plug into my computer and I could download it. So anyway, so originally though, I sent in like five answers to questions and it said, send in a photo of you and your daughter. And it took me, I am not even joking, three days to find a picture I liked of myself with Chloe. <laughs> because it was before camp, like cell phones. And like to actually have a picture, we had cell phones, but they weren't like they are now. Pictures were really grainy. To have a photo that I actually liked had to be taken like on a camera and developed. So we sent in our, our submissions. And a couple of days later, I was in TJ Maxx or Marshalls, one of them, and I got a call from someone and he's like, hi, I'm this casting director, blah, blah, blah. Barnaby, can you stop eating that? You're so noisy. And he's like, I'm looking to talk to Christy Lukasiak about the submission. And I'm like, oh, hi, I'm shopping. Can you call me tomorrow? Like that is literally like how serious I thought this was. And so he called back and we talked and he started to ask me like more and more questions. He's like, can you send in video of your dance teacher, you know, teaching your daughter? Can you ask her these questions? Do you have friends? And I was like, yeah, I have Kelly. And I have video of Kelly like sitting over a beer talking about how Brooke was was like the dancer and Paige was like her younger kid that she dragged along. No offense to Paige, but we all know how that gets with like younger children. And so then what happened is this casting director realized that all of the moms that he liked were all from the same studio. And all of our tapes, we weren't just talking about dance and our daughters, we were all talking on each other. And he was like, hold on a minute here. He's like, there's a little bit, like you had the toddlers and tiaras element to it because the kids were dancing and talented and the glitter and the makeup and the hair and all of that. But then you had these moms that had this really long history with each other, which was kind of unusual because most reality shows, they cast people and yeah, like maybe the housewives know each other from a party and stuff, but we were women who had been sitting next to each other for years. And we had like all of this history and this dirt on each other that we were like still willing to bring up at a moment's notice, which is half the reason why we fought so much because it wasn't that we were fighting about what you thought we were fighting about is we were still mad about something that had happened five years ago. He got these casting tapes and he quickly realized that he liked moms from the studio. And they were like, oh, Oh, maybe there's something with a team. So that was in like September. My dogs and cats are fighting. September and October of 2010. 
So then in December, we got a call that they were coming in January of 2011 to hold open auditions. And the auditions were being held at our studio, but you didn't have to go there to audition. So there were people from surrounding studios who came. That's how Kathy came and auditioned. So ultimately, I believe in January, there ended up being around 30-ish families who auditioned. And they ended up, which, Actually, what's kind of funny about that is the weekend that they were coming to audition everyone, Kelly and I got sent to New York by our dance teacher. She wanted us to take our kids to compete there that weekend, <laughs> just so we wouldn't happen to be there. It was kind of like when Cinderella's, Cinderella's stepmother wouldn't let her go to the ball, you know? Uh, but I had been talking to the casting director, so he knew we were leaving, so they came the night before to do our auditions. And so I remember sitting in like the the store and having them close the door because I didn't want anyone to hear like what I was saying about each other. It's so weird to think about. Okay, all auditioned in January. They left, you know, got the footage they needed. Come, it was right at the end of March. I think it, no, 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 no. It was March 2nd, because it was the day before my birthday. Um, I got a call and it was the casting director and he was like, the show has been picked up. And I was like, oh. Um, he's like, there are five moms in it and you're one of them. And I was like, oh my God. I was like, well, who else? And he said, Kelly. And I was like, oh, great, naturally. And he's like, and then he goes, Melissa. And I'm like, of course, um, Holly. And I was like, Holly. And I was like, oh, okay, wait, they need normal. And then he was like, and there's another mom. You don't know her. Her name is Kathy and she's from Ohio. And I was like, oh, is she nice? And he's like, you'll see. And I was like, well, tell me about her. He's like, you'll meet her on camera. <laughs> And I was like, okay, well, what is this? And it was all very like weird and crazy. And he was like, okay, this show has been picked up for six episodes. You are going to be on TV for six weeks. And I was like, oh my God. So it was a six week docu-series about dance and competitive dance. And I was like, great, you know? And I was like, okay. And he's like, we'll be there in April. We're gonna film starting, I think our first day of filming was April 5th. And I was like, oh my God. And he's like, get ready and blah, blah, blah. So got all ready, like bought ugly clothes, I'm sure, you know, got my eyelashes done, what all the things I did. Started filming in April. Very first competition we went to was uh, where Chloe's headband fell down. Good turn, good job. Chloe's doing her trio and her headpiece is falling off. Oh my God, she can't even see right now. And you know, it just started going. And once we started filming at the studio, they quickly realized that there was another person in the studio who made for amazing television. And then that's kind of how the show evolved into a dance teacher and the team and then the moms. So by the time we got to, I think it was maybe the sixth episode or so, I don't quite remember, whatever the episode was that the agent from New York came to the dance recital, that we did the awful mom dance, um, the producer came to us and they were like, listen, the network wants more episodes. And we were like, wait, it was supposed to be six. And they're like, yeah, no, they think this is gonna be a great show. And we're like, it's not even aired yet. And they're like, it doesn't matter. They think it's great they want more episodes, so we're going on the road this summer. And I was like, I can't go. And he's like, what do you mean you can't go? And I said, I have a one-year-old, I had Clara. And I said, I can't leave Clara. And he said, oh no, 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 no. He's like, we will hire you a nanny to come with us. He was like, pack your bags, we're going on the road. So we did. We had a couple of weeks break after we found out that we were gonna film more episodes. Came back in June, literally packed 155 suitcases. That's what it felt like because we were going on the road for six weeks. Drove to the studio parking lot, got on a bus, and started at like our cross country trek. And what's funny is that we were filming the show as it premiered. So the show actually premiered the week that we did the Vegas episode in season one. So if you remember the iconic scene where the moms go to the ice bar. It's an igloo. It's made out, out of ice. It's cool. Literally. 
that was actually filmed about an hour before the show premiered in the United States. Actually, I think the show was airing on the East Coast, but we were West Coast, so we didn't see it at that point. So I remember very specifically being in that ice bar, and like, yeah, we were like, oh, it's Melissa's boobs and shot skis and all of that, but I remember us all talking like, oh my God, do you think people are gonna watch the show? Like, is this gonna be a thing? And we were like nervous and excited. We're like, oh my God, we're gonna be on TV in an hour. And oh, are you nervous? And I remember feeling like so just, it was so overwhelming to think about. But when I go back and watch that scene, that is one of my very favorite scenes from all of Dance Moms because that was the last time that we were just, you know, Christy, Holly, Jill, Melissa, you know, just moms from Pittsburgh because the very next day we became the Dance Moms. We we saw people at competition, they're like, hey, wait, those are those Dance Moms. And then, you know, it just kept going. And it was interesting because, you know, as the summer went on and we finished, we wrapped filming and we went home and the, the show was airing like continuously. So the finale actually aired in October. And I remember like, first of all, I remember Chloe being in school the, the spring before it, when we started filming in April and her friends were always like, where are you going? And she's like, oh, I have to film a TV show. And they're like, yeah, right, you're not on TV. And she's like, well, yeah, I am. And then she went back to school the next year and they're like, oh, you're on TV. And it was just so funny because by the time the finale came, which was in October, I remember getting a call from Lifetime and they were like, hey, we need you to be in New York tomorrow. And I was like, why? And they're like, because you're gonna be on the Today Show the next morning. And I was like, I think it was at that moment that I was like, oh my God, like people are watching this. And it was Melissa, me and Abby, plus Maddie and Chloe who were on the Today Show. And I remember like the girls standing there in their costumes and me just being like, what is happening? And then I watched the finale when Chloe booked the music video. Um, hi, little mom brag. I remember watching the finale at Kelly's house and on the way home, I got a call from the executive producer and he was like, Christy, and this is, again, the beginnings of social media. You guys have to remember, like we were on the back of the bus just making like, you know, Instagram accounts. It wasn't like we were trying to like be influencers or have these big followings. It was just like something we did. And I remember him calling me and he was like, yay, Chloe is trending number two on Twitter. And I was like, okay. And he was like, no, Christy, you're Chloe. And I was like, no, what is like, don't, isn't it like Chloe Kardashian? And he's like, no, Christy, your Chloe is trending number two on Twitter. And I was like, oh. And it was just like small little pieces like that that I started realizing, or we all started realizing, like people were watching the show and it was wild and crazy. And it was just like, we were still living the same lives we had always lived. You know, we lived in our homes and we went to the same studio and like the kids were with the same people, but like the world was watching. And it, it just, every time like something small like that would happen, I would be like, oh my God. And I can just remember like little things where it would start to hit me and I was like, holy, crap like i can't believe people are watching this but i don't know a part of me always kind of knew i think that it was going to be like a success i just don't know i knew it was going to be such a big success i didn't know that 10 years later i'd still be sitting here talking about dance moms and anyone would care because there's a million reality shows out there they come and go people forget them and there's just something about this show that lives on and while you know i think that i'm like oh i've moved on i personally will always always be grateful for all of the opportunities dance moms has given me and my family and it really was a once in a lifetime opportunity and you know what it took every last person to make that show a success so if it hadn't been you know for all of us then I think it would have been a very different experience. So I personally will forever be grateful for Dance Moms. I know that it's entertained you for years. Sometimes I look back on it and I'm like, oh, you know, but look, I mean, how many of us can sit back on our porches when we're old grandmas and be like, when I was young, I was on an international hit television show and your mom's headband fell down and blocked her eyes and she still did an aerial. So who would have ever thought, right? So thank you for all of the love over the years. Um, 
I will always be grateful for all of your love and support. Thank you for all of your love over the years to me and my family. And here's to what's next, right? Thanks for watching. Bye.